Hello Pisces, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other and what's happening next or what you can expect. As always is a general love reading so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Check out your playlist. It, I have a playlist all for Pisces and it's linked in the description box. Um, also check out your other signs if you want to see what other messages there are for you and let's jump right in for Pisces Pisces this uh, reading will be for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind okay for Pisces what's going on in their connection with this other person Okay, we have broken silence, honesty, courage, expression. Open up, be vulnerable, and express your true feelings. Bottom of the deck, I have unexpected events. So this could be somebody opening up unexpectedly. This could be someone being honest out of the blue or um, expressing how they feel out of the blue. Tell me more for Pisces. Tell me more for Pisces, please, Spirit. We need to know about Pisces and this connection. What's going on between Pisces and their person? Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Stay optimistic about your love life at the bottom of the deck. So this could be leading to a higher level of commitment here. I'm really hoping someone isn't surprising you and telling you that they're married. Married, <laughs> That would not be great. So, you know, because stay optimistic about your love life is at the bottom of the deck, I'm thinking it's a more positive message. But of course, we will see when we look at the tarot. Spirit, give me some insight, please, for Pisces. What do we need to know about this connection between Pisces and their person? What's going on for Pisces in love? Let's see what we got for you, Pisces. What's going on for Pisces in love? Okay, we have the double Capricorn energy and the eight of pentacles. So I feel like someone's trying to address this. Whatever this devil energy is about, this restriction, feeling trapped, stuck, um, someone dealing with an unhealthy attachment of some sort or some negative energy. Uh, I feel like someone's trying to work on this. Tell me more about the devil. And this, I say someone because this is both of your energies here. So this could apply to you or your person. Why is the devil here? Okay. Six of Pentacles and the Moon, Pisces energy. There you are. Something here is not clear. Someone could be keeping a secret or keeping something hidden. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. There's doubt, there's there's no clarity about something. Tell me about this um, moon card. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here for Pisces? Ten of Pentacles, okay. So maybe this is a situation, Pisces, where you're not sure about the future of this connection, whether someone's willing to commit to you whether this is a long-term commitment. Some of you could even be wondering if the person you're with is already with someone else. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. What's the Six of Pentacles? Four of Swords. So you are not getting something here, Pisces, whether it's information, clarity, or a token of like security or like a, an ex um, a, what's the word that I'm trying to say here? A gesture of security. So I feel like this is causing, yeah, confusion, Ace of Pentacles. So some of you are wondering if this connection is going to lead to a commitment. Um, some of you could be having doubts. 
Um, some of you could be wondering if this is an illusion, if you're just stuck in a situation where there is no progression, there's no movement forward. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. So someone's working on something that they want here. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Three of Cups. I don't like this energy. <laughs> I don't like this energy, Pisces. Especially with the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. I'm getting a juggling of multiple people here. I'm also getting that some of you could be dealing with a person that your friend group or your coworkers or some sort of group here uh, causes you to go back and forth about what you really want to do about something. Can you get some insight into the Two of Pentacles and Three of Cups, please? Star Aquarius energy. Five of Pentacles. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone, okay. <clears throat> I feel like this is someone working to try to win your trust or gain regain your trust because I feel like you might have put up a barrier here because of what you're not receiving okay so let's look at the energies between you see what else we get here but that's what I'm picking up so far for what's going on in your connection with this person Spirit, give me some insight into Pisces and this other person's energies. Give me some insight into Pisces and this other person that they are dealing with. Pisces, I'm going to have your energy on one side and your person's energy on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. The roles can be reversed. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces, Spirit. I wish I had treated you better. Tell me about Pisces, the person that Pisces is dealing with. I bury myself in work to forget you. I want to feel that way again. <clears throat> this person, I think this person, hold on, let me double check. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit, about Pisces and this other person. Tell me more about Pisces. Main male. Okay, so I think this is what the per your person, you could be dealing with the masculine energy. It does not have to be male or female. It's just the masculine energy. I feel like they have told you this or think this about you. Okay, tell me about Pisces, the person that Pisces is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Message of concern, distant horizons. Family room at the bottom of the deck. So there's a situation here. Someone's family could be an issue. Let me get more. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about Pisces and their person. Tell me more about Pisces and their person. You are always on my mind. So you think about this person a lot, um, Pisces. I'm also getting with this house card. It's almost like... Um,
like something has happened here with someone's home or they're visiting you at home or you're visiting them at their home or family again family is an issue I feel my heart belongs to you on their side and I you are always on my mind on your side here and it's interesting because I'm still feeling like with this message of concern, it's almost like they haven't told you something. And this distant, distant horizons card, let me look at the book real quick, because this is supposed to be a very positive card. This is an enabling and usually positive card. This card represents yearnings, dreams, hopes, and wishes. This could be greater distances. Um, so yeah, it's almost like this person has some sort of desire here. Um, but the message of concern card also came up. So it's almost like whatever wish or desire, it's like this message would mess with that. I have to see with the tarot, but let me get one more for both of you. Can get some more insight, please, between Pisces and their person? Spirit, can I get some more insight between Pisces? Judgment call on your end. Tell me about the person in Pisces. It's in what? Their energies. Tied up. Okay, so yeah, there's a restriction here. Patiently waiting. This person, tell me Pisces in the comments, if this person, if this is a third party situation where this person is tied up somewhere else or tied up by family commitments or family situation. Because I'm picking up that there's something that I feel they're not telling you here or there's a message of concern that there might be sending you. And I don't know, I feel like they wish they had treated you better and you think about them often. Actually, let's, let me start. Actually, no, I'm going to use this deck for you. I'm using two different decks, one for you, one for your person. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. We have the Five of Wands. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the King of Wands. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, the High Priestess. Yes, okay, there is some sort of lack of clarity. I think it's bringing problems into this connection. Like a secret or a mystery or something unknown. I feel like you're trying to figure this out. You're trying to get to the bottom of this. But I don't think you're getting any closer. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Three of Pentacles. I think you want to know if this is a third party situation or if someone's willing to put in the effort necessary for this connection. Yeah, I feel like you want commitment or you want to know if this person's already in a commitment, the Hierophant. Tell me about the High Priestess. Pisces, you know, if you are sensing that your gut is telling you something, your, inst your instinct, your intuition is telling you something, um, it's for a reason. Tell me about the High Priestess. Seven of Wands and the Star Aquarius energy. It's like there's um, some sort of hope or faith that you might be having here when it comes to this to this person but I also feel like your intuition is almost like trying to defend you or guard you here what's with this five of wands what's with this five of wands so be very careful Pisces listen to your intuition ace of swords yeah there has been maybe some verbal uh conflict or verbal disagreements Tell me about the king of wands and I think it's because you want clarity you want to know the truth like you're you just like just tell me what's up the Empress with the King of Wands and the Knight of Cups. The Fool at the bottom of the deck.
I feel like this person just want a new beginning with you, just want to take a risk here, you know, is very um, fulfilled when it comes to you. But for whatever reason, and it's almost like you can, you sense this too. It's like you think we could have something great. We could have growth, expansion. We, there's potential here um, for something new, for something new to begin um, with the Page of Pentacles here. But I feel like everything else is kind of like getting in the way. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person that Pisces is dealing with? What do we need to know. Nine of Wands. Two of Cups. What do we need to know about this other person? The Magician. What's with this Nine of Wands? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Five of Wands. Yeah, this is a problem. Um, you both know this is a problem. The Sun. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. I feel like this is out in the open the fact that this is a problem like maybe you've already discussed this because i feel like this card is telling me like you know this already eight of wands yeah you've talked about this with this person or had discussions with this person regarding whatever's in the way here page of coin i feel like this page of coin is almost like a um oh i am not going to say what i just thought nope I am not going to do that. Um, Six of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like this person didn't want you to leave or didn't want um, to, to, to run you off or something. So they gave you like a consolation prize or they made you a promise here. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Tell me about the Two of Cups for Pisces, please. Pisces, if this is resonating for you in any way, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know um, that it's resonating for you. <clears throat> I'd love to hear from you guys. Page of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Sagittarius energy. With the temperance card and the moon there you are Pisces again ten of wands at the bottom of the deck so what I'm seeing here on your person's side is there some sort of um what's this eight of swords there's some sort of like trapped energy tied up energy here which your person has I feel like this is tied to a house I know this is crazy to say but I see a house in the background here I see a house in the background back here where else did I see? Um, I just get the sense that this is happening in someone's home or someone, there's something happening with their home life. And it's a problem between you and this person. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Death, Scorpio energy. Someone's scared to make a change or end something here. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Someone's scared to, to change, make a change here in their life. There's the world at the bottom of the deck. So if you're hoping for this person to change their circumstances, I don't see it at this time. I see them kind of like keeping you in the dark here about what they're really going to do. Four of Wands. Some of you are dealing with a person that's already in a commitment and or something to do with home you know the four of wands symbolizes you know happy home two of coin again yeah i feel like there's a juggling here and the emperor aries energy knight of wands ace of cups at the bottom of the deck and the three of swords so be very careful pisces i feel like your intuition is already telling you something about this person and you should not ignore that there's a reason why you are thinking the way that you are basically 
So let's see, where's all of this headed in the near future? I'm gonna pull a couple of cards in this reading. All right, Spirit, tell me what's next for this connection between Pisces and this person? What's next for this connection between Pisces and this person? We have the Nine of Cups, wish granted, wish fulfilled, satisfaction. What's happening next? Three of Cups. Eight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I see basically what I see here, and this is gonna sound crazy to some of you that are watching this video, I'm sure. But trust me, I don't believe in coincidences. I don't believe in, it's almost like the message that I'm getting is so strong. It's almost like someone's screaming in my ear right now that this is a sham. This is, this is all an, an illusion in some sense. Someone I feel is presenting to you an idea of a reality that does not exist. I don't know why I'm getting this message, but for example, I have the Eight of Cups here and the Three of Cups. So let's say the Three of Cups is a card about reunion, coming together, right? Meeting up. The Eight of Cups is someone walking away alone, right? Two very different energies. Um, let's say that this is a situation where the Three of Cups is a third party, right? And then the Eight of Cups is them walking away from a third party. Let's say that that's the message. Why is the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck? It's almost like, and then the Nine of Cups, which the Nine of Cups, by the way, can also be a card about someone that's very self-satisfied, satisfied with what they've accomplished, satisfied with what they've made happen, satisfied and smug almost. And that's what I'm picking up here. And also this card in particular is a card about someone who is a family. It's not someone by themselves in this particular deck. So it's almost like, I don't know why I'm getting this energy, but it's almost like there's a lot of people here and if someone's telling you they're going to walk away, then why is there this persistent energy of their still being in a group, if, if that makes sense. But I'm almost getting like, this is like very opposite energy for a reason. It's almost like they're, they're, someone's being very adaptable or the future is very adaptable to someone's whim. Like one day they're going to tell you, I'm walking away. And another day they're going to be like, well, I'm still dealing with this issue. One day they're gonna tell you, I already walked away, but then later they're gonna reunite. You know, it's like, there's like this back and forth and it's a sham, it's, it's, there's nothing real about this. It's a fairy tale. Let me clarify the Nine of Cups right here. Just one card. Tell me about the Nine of Cups, Spirit. Can I have one clarifier, please, for the Nine of Cups for Pisces? Tell me about this Nine of Cups for Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the devil. You see what I'm saying? Um, thank you so much for watching, Pisces. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the likes, shares, subscribes. So I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.